All right, let's get started. I'm going to show you how I kind of threw this together in about five minutes. These are uh, three um, power monitors that show you voltages, currents, power consumption, frequency of operation, and the power factor, which is good, along with the energy that's consumed. I'm going to use these at work to monitor some uh, three-phase circuits I'm working on, and I needed this to actually be able to monitor that. And this comes with a clamp-on uh, transformer probe, which is very convenient. And we went out down to Home Depot and we got some of this uh, hardboard tempered panel. It's a eight inch, eight inch thick stuff. Um, and we're going to use that and we're going to cover up a junction box in my lab with those three meters mounted in it. And I'm going to show you how I ended up cutting this thing. We'll make it kind of quick here. So a friend of mine uh, runs a company here in town and he has this giant laser. I don't know if I've ever shown you this thing before. But this has a bed that's probably five feet wide by maybe three and a half feet deep or something like that. Probably about three, three by five. The bed's not in there right now, but it's a big laser, 100 watt dual head. You, it cuts through this hardboard like there's no tomorrow. This entire part here that I'm cutting out, um, it, it cut out of here in about two minutes. And I cut the, uh, the holes for all the mounting. And here's what it looks like after I've cut it apart. And it literally took two minutes to do this. You import a DXF file into the laser software, set up the power and wham. So when I brought it home, I put these meters in there and these meters are a little tricky because they have a kind of a strained, uh, or they have a tab that holds it in space. So you gotta make sure you make a big enough space for that. Um, and so, you kind of just press fit them in. There's no really a screws or anything that attached to it. And I also have like a four terminal strip in there to connect them all together to my three phase power. While I was there, Rob uh, showed me his new sewing machine um, at his company. He works on soft goods. And this is a ZSK uh, CNC sewing machine. It's an embroidery machine that's capable of, of handling 16 different colors with automatic needle changing and also tension monitoring and be able to determine uh, thread out as well as uh, not the needle being um, pulled apart when you do a thread when you do a needle change and you put the the colors that you want on the back here you basically import some type of color image and assign it a color and then it'll sew it so I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the features of this is a big big screen here and he's doing a demo pattern he's sewing these uh, this little flower here he decided to do this one in blue but basically this entire um, the head doesn't move the material moves in this platform that slides back and forth on this table and so this thing is running full speed and I'll show you this here so this this holds a very large uh, piece of material and you kind of put it in this frame and then you can sew in different things. I'll show you a, uh, a change here. This one's actually a fail. So the machine's able to determine that by loss in the thread tension. Anyway, Rob said he's going to buy a new machine. So this one here does multiple colors. It also has a big surface for doing different kind of patterns like giant logos and that type of thing. And this will be his 10th CNC machine, sewing machine that they have there in this little shop here in our local town. And they sew together for various types of uh, customers, different types of products. And he also said, this is going to do uh, e-textiles. And I was like, oh, what is an e-textile? He said, well, you'll be able to sew circuits right into material. Here's a couple of uh, three boards interconnected with capacitive touch sensors using conductive thread. And because you can use cap sensors, you can be, do things like this, even in leather of a different dashboard and just sew the, the uh, pattern right in there. It also will lay down EL wire. And I said, well, how does it do that? Uh, he said, well, it has this pressure. It has a special kind of foot that will stitch the wire in there and it lays the wire down in a certain pattern. So this is a really uh, 
fancy machine. We're going to do more projects with this, but let's get back to uh, our successful thread change.